Is this... Am I back at Master Yen Sid's tower? Something seems off. King Mickey! Huh? Is this what's troubling him? All right. Gosh, is that a keyblade? Who are you an apprentice to? I'm Mickey, the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Oh, huh? Apprentice? Wait, am I in some world where the king was still in training? So, does that mean this world is sleeping? What's, What's wrong? wrong? What? Oh, uh, I'm Sora, the, uh, apprentice of, um... Hey, listen, your magic... Uh, I gotta stop that. Mickey, what can I do to save you? Thank, Thank you, you, Sora. Sora. But it's, but it's no, no use. use. A monster's, monsters possess that music. That music. And, and he's releasing, releasing darkness, darkness that stops anybody from going in there to fight him. To dispel the darkness, we need a sound idea. It's that dream eater I let escape. Okay, where do I get a sound idea? What? You'll find one for me? Of course. Thank you. It's not every day I get to do a favor for the king. Huh? Did you say something? Oh, nothing. Long story. So what exactly is a sound idea? Hmm. Inside this musical score should be a power that can sweep away any darkness. But you gotta be careful. In between those clefts and notes are monsters. Not as strong as the big one, but still pretty strong. Got it.
so easily you sink into the depths of slumber. Uh. Why are you here? Yes. <sighs> Beautiful world, isn't it? Almost like a dream. Why are you following me around? You really haven't caught on? Or are you just assuming it's all part of your little test? I'm not part of the dream. And if you thought I was, then you're softer than they say. What? But, this will all be over soon. Just who are you people? Sleep on and we will meet again. Hey! What does that mean? tell you found us a sound idea. Well, I guess we should try and put it to work. Sound idea not enough? Don't worry. I've got a friend out there who will help. He's always picking up the slack for me. joining together to make even more powerful music. Yeah. Two forces are better than one. Right, Riku? Okay. Can I get in there to fight that thing now? Yes. But, Sora... I'll be fine. See you in a jiff.
Sora. Don't know what I would have done without you. <laughs> oh no! Huh? The water! Oh, I'm in big trouble if I don't fetch it. See you real soon, Sora. Yeah, you know it. Mickey! It's this musical score. It has him trapped. You won't be able to defeat that darkness with brute force. I'm Mickey, the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Who are you? Uh, uh, Riku! If brute force won't work, tell me what will. Do you really mean you're gonna try and help me? Yes. Gosh, Riku. Something tells me you and I are gonna be good friends and we'll help each other out a lot someday. Inside this music is a sound idea powerful enough to dispel the darkness. Can you find it? I'll try. Leave it to me. Thank you. 
You waiting for me? Yes. The boy chosen by the Keyblade, Riku. What? It was yours first, wasn't it? But you succumbed to the darkness you could not control. And your prize, the Keyblade, passed on to Sora instead. Your mistakes always end up being other people's problems. Maybe so. But I'm here to change all of that. Once again, you performed predictably, although on a grander scale than I imagined. If you're feeling so chatty, let's skip to where you reveal what this is all about. I don't know how you did it, but you really have found a way to trap darkness inside your heart. And a boy who's immune to darkness is of no use to us. Well, there's some good news. Your abyss awaits. Try out that sound idea.
was amazing. What happened? Sora. Sora? <laughs> Funny. Just hearing that name kind of makes me want to smile. Yeah. That's how he is. What do you know? Riku and Sora. The sound ideas you two set free joined together. And when they did, they made a great and powerful harmony. <laughs> Sora can find the brightest part of anything and pull off miracles like there's nothing to it. It's pretty hard not to smile around him. Wow. No wonder the music sounded like so much fun. But I bet he's got you to thank for that. Having such a good friend means he could really enjoy it. Huh? It's like each of you is holding on to a little part of the other. Your hearts are always in tune, so they're free to sing. Gosh, I hope I can be part of the team someday. You will. Trust me. <laughs> Master Yen Sid? Gosh, do you think he'll be able to do it? Hmm. It's clear you cannot teach a cat to bark. But Merlin and the three good fairies are aiding him in a place that's more temporally flexible. My hope is that he can at least learn to wield it. He certainly has fire. So I suppose it depends now on how strongly it burns. Oh. But what about Sora and Riku? Well, if we are running on the assumption Xehanort knew what we were planning, then he still would need to have been there. Back in the very place and time when the Destiny Islands were lost to darkness. Otherwise, Sora and Riku would have been beyond his reach. Mm. Gee, do you really think it's possible Xehanort could have planned things that far in advance? No, as a matter of fact, I do not. But what if he did the same thing as Sora and Riku did, and he jumped through time? For that to work, a version of himself would have had to exist at both Source and Destination. Not even Xehanort can transport his whole body across vast reaches of time. <gasps> oh! Oh no! I remember, Xehanort did give up his body! It was a version of him that was possessing Riku! No, it cannot be. Could he be that cunning? Possess that kind of foresight? <clears throat> if it's all right with you, can I go help Sora and Riku out? How? You cannot enter the world of a dream. Where will you go? If Xehanort really is behind all this, then they won't stay in the dream worlds forever. Eventually, they're going to reappear somewhere that we can go reach them. And we can even probably guess the place. Follow the hearts, and you'll find the way. That's something Master Aqua told me once. Hmm. We're going too! Ah, oh, fellas, you're my best pals, but this time, I really do need to go it alone. The dangers are greater than anything we've ever faced before. If something were to happen to Sora and Riku and me, why, 
You'll be the only ones left to keep this world safe. Oh. Mickey, I was not able to locate Sora, but I sense Riku's presence in the realm between. Trust your heart, and I know you will find him. Thank you. I promise I'll bring them both back safe and sound. <laughs>